hey guys i'm back i feel like i haven't posted on this channel in so long so i apologize i do i'm so sorry um hi how are we let me just dig in my ear my ears with you okay um hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here i'm isabel welcome to the channel to the channel today's video <clears throat> is exciting i'm going to be showing you guys my tattoos and my piercings and explaining a little bit about each one um my hair looks kind of weird today i don't know what it's doing ignore that also ignore if you hear that i have kind of a lisp i got invisalign like two weeks ago um it's a little bit of a lisp so today we're going to be showing you my tattoos and my piercings i got requested requested to do this a few months ago but i just haven't got around to do it because i was going to get a new tattoo i already got it it's been like three months so i don't know what i'm waiting for but we're going to start off with my tattoos because i feel like that's more interesting and then we'll do piercings First off, I want to say, I want to answer some questions because I get asked all the time, how old are you? How do you have tattoos? If you look 15, people don't say that. I am 16 years old. Technically, if I were to go like to a tattoo place, I could get them done if my parents signed for me, but I didn't actually go to a tattoo place to get them. My sister just does them. She has a little, little needle, so she does stick and pokes and I get them for free. We're going to start off with... Why am I sitting like this? There's my knee. We're gonna start off with the first tattoo I ever got. And now I'm not like someone who really gets tattoos for like sentimental value or like I don't need to get them to have a meaning. I just get them out of impulse. So none of my tattoos have meaning. Feeling a little bit like Louis Tomlinson right now. No, uh, no reasoning behind it. Absolutely no, no meaning behind that one. No, uh, there's absolutely no reason behind that. Uh, anyway, the first tattoo I ever got, let's show you. It is right here. It's a little flower. I got this in like, I think it was April of 2020. I just wanted a tattoo and I was like, what can I get? That's something that is small, simple, simple with a P, not a B. And I decided on a flower. Would I get this now? I don't actually know. Probably not, but I don't hate it. I'm just saying, like, I don't think I would choose it now. And then I was like, yeah, that's gonna last me. Like, I'm gonna be satisfied until, like, I'm 18 to get more tattoos. And at that time that I got this one, I wasn't really, like, expecting or thinking that I was gonna get a bunch of tattoos because I didn't really want them. But now, I have so many, um, and I plan on getting a whole sleeve so uh things change people change i changed my opinion on things literally a month later i wanted a new one and i was like what do i want to get and i was inspired by lana del rey's tattoos on her hands here's a picture i got this on my hand because i was gonna go to word i was like what word so i got this on my hand it's little butterflies so then after that it was probably a month later and i was with my sister and i was like i want another tattoo and she was like do you what do you want and i was like well i kind of want something to do with harry styles my husband my favorite person ever i wanted to get a tattoo for this man because i'm obsessed with him and he just means everything to me but i was like well what do i want to get because i don't want it to be like too noticeably harry styles and also like not his face or something that is going to be like if i don't like him which if i don't like him we'll see if that ever happens i don't want it to be like i regret getting it because that wouldn't be good so i decided on his song sweet creature and i just got the sweet creature tattooed on me i won't regret getting it and i don't I, I love it it's right here and it's gonna be backwards for you because i always flip my camera but i love the placement once again i love having a word on me i think it's really cute next tattoo after that i was kind of like done for a little while and i waited a few months and then i told my sister i want a new tattoo and i was thinking about it for a while and i told her i want a skull on my arm because she has a really cool skull on her leg and i was like i want the same thing as you and so she was like well i don't know if i want to do a skull on you it's kind of like dark and like it's gonna be on your arm and i'm glad that she talked me out of it because i really like the one that she gave me so we decided on a death's head moth if you haven't seen silence of the lambs it was kind of like because it's on the movie post it's the moth that's in the movie i think it's a very pretty moth drawn out i hate moths in real life so i think if i saw one i'd probably scream but i got it on my arm here it is so yeah that's what i got here it looks a little bit stretched on this side because the placement like if i pull it down it looks more even anyway biggest tattoo that i have i was a little bit scared after i got it because i was like "Ooh, that's very big i love it it's probably my favorite tattoo i have so i got that one and then i was satisfied for a little while and then i was like i really want the cross that harry has on his hand on my hand i'm not religious at all i'm very much atheist but like i wanted it so i just got it very small 
so then the last one that I recently got is my most recent, my most recent, I think it's my, I was going to say it's my second favorite, but I don't actually know if I can choose. It is this one right here. You probably already saw it, but it is mushrooms and it's like a little card. Kind of looks like a little postcard or like a stamp or something. I love it. I don't know. I just was like, what do I want? I want it on this arm. I don't really have anything over here. So that's on my tattoos. I do plan on getting a lot more, but probably not until I'm like 18 because I am only 16. I don't want to be like completely covered yet because like maybe I'll change my mind on things, but I don't think I will. We're going to talk about piercings now. Piercings are less fun. So I have four on my ear. This one is, it's kind of dirty. It's like the metal stuff is making a mark on my ear because it's not real metal. Silver, that's what I meant. So I got the first ones when I was in eighth, no, I was not in eighth grade. I was in second grade. I was eight. My second piercing when I was in sixth grade, I was 12. My third one, my sister actually did for me. And then my fourth one, I got over, oh, this one was in eighth grade. Did I say that? I don't know. And then this one was two years ago, actually. Oh my God. Wait a minute. It was almost two years ago. It was during quarantine. It was not almost two years. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. Apparently, I don't know what time it is. This is very close. We're very, like, up close and personal right here. This one, I pierced myself. Worst decision of my life. I pierced it with a safety pin. Don't do that. I know it's bad. Don't even yell at me. Don't even say, why would you do that? Like, I literally, I know. Because it got very infected. But it's fine now. And then I got, I wanted a nose piercing in December of 2020. I got this, my little nostril piercing. I got this one in June or July of this year. And that's all I have so far. I'm planning on getting a belly button piercing soon. I hope to get it maybe this summer. So yeah, I will try to post more on this channel. I know I never do. I'm very sorry. I like, I'm not really good at like posting. Maybe I should post like every week. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Make sure you subscribe, like this video. Comment down below which tattoo you like the most. If you hate them all, just leave. I don't want to hear if you hate them. Make sure you subscribe to my main channel because I post every Friday and make sure you follow my Instagram and my TikTok because I post every day on TikTok and I post pretty frequently on both of my Instagrams. Okay, I love you so much. Bye guys, see you soon.